And Mr. Mike Shroff, head of group. Ah, I guess Pandian. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause, please. So we'll be here for a while. We have lots of things to chat also about. So Kicha sir, we'll start with you as well for once Alankar sir joins us. Yes, yes. Uh, him we'll be chatting a lot with also. But with you also. This is familiar territory for you. Uh, this is now becoming familiar territory for him. When you see a big film like this, it's magnum opus, the background score, uh, the colors, the action. It, this is the kind of film that a lot of us like to watch also, you know, and, and that has been working very well last two, three years. You being up every day on that Friday, how humbling an experience is this? Because Kannada cinema seems to be doing nothing wrong. Last three years, 500,000 crore, but how many crores you are making easily? Everyone wants to make a blueprint of Kannada cinema. But what is it that, you know, that, that, that Friday, that itch of an actor to come back on screen and allow himself to be judged by everybody? What is that? Yeah. Sabko namaskar hai. Mera a first film, a pan-India film. I am really excited. And uh, you know about him. You know about him, Kicha Sudhir. The whole India knows about him. What a fantastic artist, actor he is. Ega and many more, more movies actually released in uh, even India also. Huh? Six and a half feet tall and actually, you know, such a handsome guy actually approaching me for assistant director. I said, you, are, you will become a superstar. Sir, small correction, sir. I'm just long, sir. You're tall, sir. <laughs> there's, a, there's a difference. And Shreya has also joined us in, looking lovely as ever. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause. We missed that. Shreya, this is going to be for you. Abhi, aap bolo ki light aa gaya. And thank you, Kicha. Kicha Sudhi, my dear friend, for accepting me a special role in this film. And it added so much of value for this film. And uh, thank you, sir. For making this film such a huge film, actually releasing in 1000, 1200, or more than 1200 theatres. Thank you. And uh, Shia, same thing. She is already a pan India star. <laughs> she acted in almost all languages with all superstars. Thank you for accepting uh, as heroine in front of me. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you very much. Sir, of all the questions that you answered, you didn't answer my one question, sir. What, sir? Which is, sir, when you are now coming out, there was so, such a long background of so many years, 30, 35 years of superstardom. Do you no, get any sir. laughs on Friday? Yes, you are. <laughs> we, I, I have spent two and a half hours now with See, you. I know now I am feeling day. like this is my launch movie. This is my first movie. <laughs> it is always like that, actually. For every Friday, this is new, new experience, new yeah. movie. Yeah. But, but, you know, this word, this pan-India word that is now, I, I love it. I love the fact that we can see everything and with OTT, of course, the world is very small now. You can see on your phone all the time. Uh, is there anything you can use uh, it in either way? But there will be comparisons now because it's always about box office numbers. What do actors that are doing well right now in different regional cinema, what do they feel about that? Yeah, that is always there, that pressure. Uh, we have to overtake that with some pleasures actually, doing all this kind of movie with uh, so much of uh, technicality. And I always tell actually, you know, because everybody knows this is a multi star film, like myself and Sudeep and uh, Shivaraj Kumar, Shivanna, acting in this movie. But according to me, there are three more great technicians who are really stars. One is cameraman AJ Shetty, one is art director Shiv Kumar, and Ravi Basrur, music director. They are the real superstars behind camera work and actually made this film so big. It looks so fantastic. Yeah, spectacular visuals and all this, yeah. Anand sir, you know, you've uh, been able to deliver in all languages. Marathi ho gaya, Hindi ho gaya, Gujarati ho gaya. And people always say that when something is working very well for you, you should continue in the same vein. But no, you have decided to invest. And by all numbers that are out there on uh, public portals and all, so there's a lot of money invested in this. It looks like it also. Is this a risk on your part or what? I'm sure. Uh, films are concerned, especially. You have to say, in, in, a, in, a, in a very barren desert, there's a little oasis. There are some films that are coming out right now. Say, to what Anand sir just said. Uh, yeah, we beatbox. Can We lost a. It's fine. Thank you. We lost a very special part of film industry. Um, I remember the last time I met Satish sir, he said, Tu kaisi hai? Mene ka, mein thiku. Kaam kar rahi hai na, to thiki hoogi. So that's how much he loves cinema. 
and uh, so we are all here for Kabza, which um, we made with all our love, a lot of hard work. Uh, Chandru, our director, has put his heart and soul into this film. He has this ability to dream big and uh, he's made his dream come true and we, here we are. Um, I, uh, I've really enjoyed being part of this film. When I first saw the, the small teaser, which uh, he showed me, I was blown away. I was like, wow, I need to be part of this film. And the first day I wore my outfit and I went on the set and how EJ, cameraman, he lit up the whole set. I felt like, wow, I belong here. This is amazing. And when I first time met uh, Upendra sir, um, <laughs> literally the word is blown away because you know, he's such a big star, such a big superstar, yet so humble, so down to earth. He has, um, I mean, he's a director, actor, been there, done it all, but there's not even this much of ego, not this much of attitude, but so easy to work with, so simple and always so supportive. Um, thank you, sir. Thank you for being part of the film. Uh, I love the little hand movement that you've done. It's like <laughs> the heartbeat, yeah. Um, so thank you for everyone to be part of the film from the sets which are larger than life. But there's a lot of soul in there. From the direction to everyone part of the film. Thank you Anand sir for believing in it. Um, and thank you all for being here. I um, always believe the film that I'm doing will become a big hit. <laughs> I pray to Krishna that it will become a big hit. And I hope that with all your love and support, this becomes a huge hit. Thank you. The balance sheet is doing very well so far, so I think it should work. But you know, I have to ask the most cliched question in so much of action and so much of chaos. I mean, in the, even the trailer, there are things falling apart all the time. Now, there's this lovely poster with a very regal you inside it. Yeah, it's looking beautiful. Yeah. Uh, how are you being able to be so calm in such a film with so much of chaos and action that is going on? So please do tell me about it. Look, I like to dance. I like to do it. So that's why uh, the, the song with which I... Uh, the first thing that we shot for the film was the song Namami Namami. And, um, but I like action to do it. I like to do it. In a film like this. I like to do it. Jesse, who Jimmy to pitch the Atia, who fire with the over dust Atia, which of us of the Karte to make the Bukuli Tarjatu, make the Bultu Muchamat Karao. So, how did you, so Chandru sir, you can answer me. I was a ball of the director, that was in the background, made a Kauki action sequence. I will, I will, I will ask sir. Chandru sir, sir, you answer in Karada if you want. No problem. We'll be. No, I love, I love action sequences, which is a wheel of the Kamni, the Yagame, I say, Bolungi. But do say the Knapasa. But do say. Action, this very, very sweet gentleman is a, is a mammoth director, writer, by the way. We were discussing a while back also. How you look so calm, sweet and composed, but you are very different on the set. You have to, you have to listen to when he's narrating the story to you. So, madam, you're like this and you're standing here and then, and then, and then the hero comes and sees it and he's crying there. And I'm like... <laughs> Manoj, why is he crying? <laughs> and then this happens. And then it's just, it is an emotional scene. I'm not even in that scene, but that's a scene which opened this as scene. <laughs> but you also he cried? Don't you? But when he was narrating the script to you? No, he cried only when he had to pay me. <laughs> <laughs> That was going to come for sure. I actually, before Chandrusa speaks, uh, can we call uh, Anand Audio on stage, please? Chandrusa, uh, how are we? Yes. Oh, he's here. He's here. On stage. Chandrusa, now if you can answer your experience about the filming and all these things. You speak in Kannada and we'll slowly translate if you want to, whatever you're comfortable with. Hello, Namaskara. 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 Badshah Kitcha Sadeem, sir. Indian real star, UP, sir. Shuraj Kumar sir, first of all, nan aur munde aur note beko aur jitne unfor na thodbe ko naase patti da vikti aur ab. Pindar sir, thank you. Kicha Sadeep sir, thank you Shreya for being here. And to answer you, yes, I believe what has happened. The first hero opposite Deepika Padukone. 
way back in Aishwarya and that was Deepika's first super hit film. Thank you, thank you sir. Yeah, and uh, today we were just talking about Pathan, which is why I am talking about this, that uh, way back you were the first hero. Okay. I am uh, so lucky actually, yeah. I acted in, with her in my first film. Yeah. <laughs> thank yeah. you. Okay, uh, I would like you to share, you know, what is the, you have done this, uh, you know, role in uh, Underworld Ka Kabza. Uh, I just want you to share what was the exciting challenge that you have faced uh, in uh, playing this role. So making sense, because this whole thing, no, this, this is not a film actually go out and shoot wherever you want to, for every scene and everything you have to erect sets and uh, control lighting and takings, everything we have to, even the juniors and our attire actually, it's a period subject, no, that is the challenge actually, that's why I told you, no, he used to call me at 8 o'clock and uh, my shot is at 2 or 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock, so only thing is we need that patience and we should be in that actually character and those are all the challenges in this movie, yeah. Hi, you better sir. Please I request everybody don't compare any film with any other film actually. <laughs> yeah, maybe that look and feel is when they saw a teaser uh, that was there actually, you know, people are talking about KGF and similarity between KGF and this film. But after trailer everybody <coughs> knows that actually this is not KGF, it has got a completely different storyline and uh, we are, I am giving you assurance that this is a completely different film. Yeah. Hi, Shriya. Uh, Akruti Yo from Absolute India News. My question is to you. Hi. Uh, Shriya, you have, you know, worked in films of multiple languages, including yeah. Hindi and even down south. How do you think that has added to your growth and now you are like feasible working in any language? Uh, language changes the flavor of the people, and India is a country where currency is printed in 17, actually 19 languages. Uh, and it also is something that brings us all together and it was very beautiful uh, feeling for me. I still remember the first time I took a flight to go to Hyderabad to give my first screen test and uh, I felt how different but how beautifully similar we all are. So when, uh, so when I started working in different languages it was interesting because you learn the language, you learn the culture you understand and everything is so similar yet so different. So I feel like the captain of the ship is always the director. But uh, I feel the simplest way to explain to you is how English humor is different from British humor, uh, American humor and British humor. And so it's interesting to understand and see all of that. But at the same time, there is so much more that you can tell in different languages. And I, I guess you'll understand it now today more than ever before because of all the platforms just so, uh, you know all the, all the films in different languages and you've seen them. And the more local you are today, the more rooted you are, the more global you are. And for me, very, I started working in different languages. So I learned that, I explored, I, I worked with different, different directors, different co-actors, and it never allowed me to be very comfortable. Because every time you are like, it's almost you're starting all over again. And so that kept me on my toes. And uh, also I feel for me, I love what I do and I would want to do it till the time I'm alive. And I love acting. And different languages, for me it was just a small barrier. But for, on a deeper level, it was my way of learning a lot more. That I wouldn't have had if I just did one language. But... Living in this country, it's beautiful that we have so many languages and how connected we are. And so when a Kannada film does well, internationally it's an Indian film that has done well. Or when a Telugu film does well, it's an internationally it's an Indian film. And so it was just beautiful to feel that oneness when I traveled all across the country. Hi, hi guys. Uh, this is Farhan Khan from Delhichaka.com. So we have seen uh, South movies getting some fantastic appreciation and support from uh, uh, like for example Karan Johar ne, uh, he has presented the movie Bahu Bali the later he has presented uh, movie 2.0 which had Rajni Khan to the North audience. What are your visions in terms of Kabza and in the upcoming days how do you see like uh, promoting and presenting the South movies to the North audience? Yeah, I'm 
Uh, I'm always fascinated by the skill of South directors, South production houses. They've got completely different tone. Uh, they give their heart and soul, everything to their films. So it's not just the project making, uh, but it's a film making industry. So that is how I get fascinated with that. With especially with Kabja and uh, with uh, Chandru sir, uh, I can tell you that uh, he's completely into zone of Kabja. You know, so he breathe Kabja, he eat Kabja, he drink Kabja. You know, right now. So looking to that conviction towards the film. Uh, as a producer or as a distributor, it gives a strength to you. So, we are going to release this in 12, 1200 to 1500 pan India. And we have got a nice date of 17th March, where we are not clashing with anyone. So, that is what uh, we are going almost all out. Yo, uh, hi, my question is to Upendra. Yo, yo. Hi, this is Asta from Awesome TV hi, hi. and uh, love the trailer, especially the action sequences. So, did you undergo any special training to prepare for this? The, the whole shooting is training. <laughs> <laughs> the process of shooting itself is training. So, was there any injury caused? It is always there, small, small things, no? Not only in this film, any action films <laughs> that we have to go through. Uh, hi, Sudeep sir, over here towards your right. Hi. Uh, uh, so my question to you is, uh, what, uh, what attracts you towards these anti-hero films? Like you have played negative leads in say, Iga, you did a Dabang which was negative, now there is Kabza which is a gangster film. What attracts you to this zone of uh, cinema. Sir, every time I did some negative or something, more than anything, it was more emotional, sir. When Salman Khan, sir, will call, or Chandru will call, or Rajmoli, sir, will call. <laughs> so I guess, you know, by the end of the day, it's about all of them want me, and that's a great feeling. And uh, for example, the Dabang is a completely out and out villain. It's not like uh, Maki, it's not like Iga, it's a, it's a different role. But then if uh, somebody is wanting you there and uh, if that's going to make them happy and if that's going to add some bonus to the film, why not? But uh, it kind of pinches me also a little, you know. Uh, first I get beaten up by a fly and then next is Mr. Salman Khan. So by the end of the day I keep asking, okay, what happened by the end of it? Okay. I just see some fire smiling faces. Of course, Maki was a, one of the greatest experiences and uh, today, uh, it's not about just me, sir. As I, you know, in the beginning of the career, it's about me, all about me. My films, my Friday, uh, whether even uh, Upendra sir is responsible, uh, and as I told you, he's my hero. But if his film is clashing with mine on Friday, I want to win. You know, that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> but you go on after some time, you know, you just uh, like how Mr. Pandit sir just now said that, you know, we, can, we got a great day where we are not clashing. So we all come on settle there and, you know. So here comes films also, where they come and offer you certain roles. We really don't look in too much about the space or the, you know, like how much of a time screen space you have or uh, what. Uh, yeah, the only thing we want to make first beginning, are you making a difference to the poster first? If yes, you know, and yeah, there is other one whole group who's trying to make a great film. I think today cinema is standing at a very beautiful phase where we collaborate for many reasons, just not uh, the protagonist or the antagonist. It's, it's just about many things together, like Shreya, she's here, see? She's done this role and she's right in centre. And she's looking the best. Upendra sir is the hero, but look at him. He looks like the villain now. And I'm pointing my gun at somebody else. See, point is not that, but overall when you talk, you just said, this other gentleman here, he said the Kabza trailer was fantastic. It's fantastic because so much of collaborations have happened, so much of efforts are coming from many people. So I think that's how cinema is today. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Shriya, 